Hello, how you doing? This is Jeffrey Lee Falshinsky, your brewmaster of Bastard's Brilliance. And I'm swimming the backstroke of joy as I welcome you to another episode of Meaningless Minutia, a show that drinks from the fountain of knowledge and then throws up. And with that unnecessarily gratuitous moment of oversharing thrown out there, let's ask this week's question. Did you know there's a brewery that allows you to swim in a pool of beer? Most people love a good, refreshing beer, but do they love it enough to take a bath in it? Well, the ladies that run Starkenberger Castle in Austria think you would. As a matter of fact... They think you would so much that they built a pool in the recesses of their brew castle for you to bathe in. Located just a few hours outside of Munich, the 100-year-old castle, which is run by women, will give you a tour of their famous brewery for the low fee of $10. But for roughly $300, you can make a reservation to take a dip in their Turkish bathhouse-style pools filled with beer. For that price, you also get crackers, a meat tray, and a non-swimmed-in bottle of beer to drink. Now, this business model might seem a little unusual to you, but historically speaking, people thought of beer baths as having healing and restorative properties. It's even rumored that Cleopatra regularly took beer baths to preserve her beauty. Of course, enough beer always makes us feel a little more beautiful than we really are, so those rumors should be taken with a grain of salt. Were people looking to round out their beer-centric experience? After your bath, you can take part in tours of Starkenberger's Gothic Cellars, where they keep the barrels of fermenting beer, where they'll also talk to you about the history of beer, and afterwards you can participate in a beer trivia contest. And, of course, there's tastings of the various types of beers made at the castle. Of course, after all of this, you may want to take a cab back to the hotel, as I'm pretty sure every cell in your body will be past its legal limit. After all, you should always drink and bathe responsibly. Okay, I can feel your mind about to prune up, so I best just stop there. But before I let you go and sleep this one off, let me leave you with this memorable moment of mischief. Almost 163,000 pints of Guinness are wasted in facial hair each year, which begs the question that while playing with your food might be frowned upon, maybe your drinks could be a different story altogether? Maybe? No? Uh, and with that, I'm Jeffrey Lee Falshinsky saying... Adios, amigos.